out to Seattle we go. Jolene Kent, our correspondent there. And Joe, I'm told, uh, largest group thus far. Yeah, Brian, things have escalated quickly in terms of crowd size. There are thousands of people here in Seattle on what is the sixth day in a row of protesting. Now, the news here is that after setting a 9 p.m. curfew, the city of Seattle has now canceled the curfew because the chief of police, Carmen Best, has told the mayor, according to the mayor's office, that they will be able to maintain the peace as well as provide a safe environment for everyone here and maintain order. Now, this comes, Brian, as we here, perched three stories above this gathering, have learned that the meeting that the mayor had today with organizers and activists was in some people's eyes successful, according to the Seattle Times, others disagreeing. But what you see right there on your screen is police in riot gear. They have just arrived and been replaced, perhaps a shift change, and we see the riot gear here. They are then supported by the National Guard directly behind them with full riot gear as well. That police presence continues up the street. But what I want you to take a look at right now, Sam, if we can flip over here, is show the umbrellas that we see. We have not seen this many umbrellas at the front of this Capitol Hill Seattle protest since this began. And the reason they have these umbrellas is not because it's raining in Seattle. It is because they are guarding against possible pepper spray and tear gas. And that is exactly what happened last night. It was a very peaceful, very large protest. And then it devolved very quickly. Now, the police has been criticized uh, in recent days for saying that these are riots when they are protests in the eyes of the protesters. They are all calling for change and justice for George Floyd, calling for the protection of black lives. Now, Sam, come on over here. I want to show you guys a little bit more of what we're seeing. This looks like one large group of people, right? But it's actually multiple different groups of protesters, some with slightly different agendas. And you can see how far it stretches. It shows the energy and the spirit of what is happening here in Seattle. A lot of people also telling me, several protesters we've been talking to last night and in the past days, they believe this crowd is only going to grow, Brian, because of two things. First, they want to see out that justice for George Floyd. And they also, one protester in particular says, the economy is a big story that is not being told right now here in Seattle. You have nationwide 40 million people who have filed for jobless claims. And this passion is coming not just, according to this protester, not just from this current situation out of Minneapolis and George Floyd. It is coming from somewhere deeper. And several protesters also telling me that they're out here and they're wearing their masks because they're willing to risk their health to make their voices heard. This is a reoccurring theme across the country, but especially here in Seattle. The big question is, there's no curfew right now. So what's going to happen when night falls here in Seattle? What will it look like? Because the past couple of nights, it has not ended peacefully. It has been tear gas. It has been pepper spray and it has been flashbang grenades deployed by the police once night falls. So we'll be monitoring the situation for you here in Seattle. But one of the largest crowds that we've seen and certainly one of the most organized so far. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.